Esava, this is Gio Blazable from GamerFusion.com, and welcome guys to some Far Cry Primal coverage. Today I'm going to go over how you go ahead and craft in Far Cry. So, really, really quick update. These are the things you're going to be able to craft in Far Cry Primal. Now, we're going to go over each individual one, and I'm going to go over how you craft them and how do you find resources and all that stuff. So, this is pretty much your crafting tree. Uh, one thing you want to note is you'll notice each craft and craft, crafting tree has a different character. For example, we have the first one, which is our main character, Takara, and then we have a second character that also has crafting equipment, and then we have a third character, a fourth character, a fifth character, and a sixth character. So each of these individual characters will give you the abilities to craft each individual weapon. Now, currently you're going to be able to pick and find out which one you want and each one will give you a detail of what exactly it is that you need to craft the following. For example, let's say we were trying to craft a bow. Um, it tells you right there what you need. You need a Takara's Cave, you need South Stone, and South Rock Dust. As you see right there, those are the requirements to actually upgrade this one. But let's say I was trying to go ahead and uh, craft one of these little guys here. I was trying to craft, craft some bait. Currently right now it doesn't allow you to craft because you need to actually unlock a mission to craft. So some of these are mission locked, some of these are not mission locked. For example, this one, Kapala Shard. This one specifically is a item that you actually you get from the Ubisoft Club. So you're going to be able to get this one if you want to go ahead uh, and get this one. Now this one's also mission locked. And as you see right there, if I wanted to actually do this one, this one I could because I've already done a whole lot of the mission. But I need this following, I need the Takara Cave. I need animal hide, which I already have, and B clusters. So you're going to need to pick up different types of items uh, within the game to allow you to craft these. So as you see right there, if I'm trying to craft this one, the hunter belt, I'm going to need a wolf hunt hunt and a white wolf skin. So very specific, even though you hunt wolves, these are very specific as saying you need white wolf skin. So the question is, how do I know where to find this stuff and how do I, you know, how, do, how would I be able to know exactly what I need to do to actually get this one? So, like this one's a trap and we need a Wogan's Hut and as you see right there. So, now to answer the most predominant question, how do you craft it? So let's say we were trying to go ahead and say, okay, you know what, we actually need to upgrade this one because currently right now I can only carry eight, but I want to be able to carry 16. So how do I upgrade these? How am I able to actually upgrade that? That's actually a very easy question to answer. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your maps and once you guys try to through the maps, as you see right now, currently my maps only show the current location, my waypoint, which is where I have to go. And it shows you a vast majority of the map, right? So it'll show you the whole entire map within Fallout. But for this particular area, we're trying to go ahead and craft this uh, Craft is something that's going to allow us to actually carry more more arrows. That's 16 arrows. I mean, that's a big upgrade, right? That's double. So we need dull skins. So what we need to do is actually find doors. So very easy to do. We just got to go through the map, and it will be highlighted. So for example, this is a boar. We need boar skin. We're actually going to need boar skin to actually upgrade one of our spears as well. So there we go. We found doll, and it says a wild act that hunts in packs. Easy award Joel skin special temple required beastmaster skill. So, for example, if we want to go ahead and uh, pretty much uh, tame him, we're gonna have to require a skill. But right now, what we're gonna want to do is just pretty much hunt him and get three of them. And once we are actually able to get all three of them, we will then be able to come back to our crafting station, go to go to our our bow here. And upgrade this and be able to upgrade our bells and arrows to actually eight. And as you guys know, the cool thing about this, it tells you how many upgrades you can do to each specific section. So for example, this one has up to four upgrades. The bow and arrow has up to two upgrades. The club has up to four upgrades. And each upgrade tells you exactly what it's able to do. For example, this one says if you upgrade it, it becomes, you, you upgrade it to rapid fire. If you do this one, it says currently damage is 3, duration 4, agility 4. But if you upgrade it, you swing to hit multiple enemies, stun enemies when throwing. And then you're also able to upgrade it to damage 4, durability 4, and agility 5. And each one has its in each individual aspect of it. It also has different specials. Uh, for example, this one has the highest damage when thrown. Damage 2, duration 3, 
uh, and so forth and so forth. So for example, as you said, you know how I was saying, if you want to go ahead and upgrade uh, what you're able to carry, you're also able to get this if you get more Borskin. So for example, right now I'm only able to carry two baits, eight meats, and eight animal fats. With this upgrade, I'm able to carry three baits, uh, 12 meat, and 12 animal fats. So definitely upgrading is very, very important when it comes to the game. But that's pretty much how you guys go ahead and craft. You're gonna gonna go through each individual skill tree, try to find out exactly what you want to upgrade and what road path you want to take. For me personally, my favorite would probably be having as many weapons as possible and having them upgraded so when I go to fight higher ranked enemies, I am able to actually stand a chance to kill them. And use your map to guide you and let you know exactly where it is that you have to go to hunt the certain animals so you guys can be able to upgrade your stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below if you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, make sure you guys leave a comment and a like. And if you think this would be beneficial for your friends, make sure you guys share them and let them know if they are also interested in Far Cry Primal. Don't forget, guys, for all things Far Cry Primal, head over to GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.